Today our adventure takes us to Bishop Pass in Bishop, California. We're going to backpack our way to Long Lake and hike up to Bishop Lake in the Inyo National Forest. This is the parking lot. It's going to be in front of South Lake. There's a restroom right there. This is the start of the trail up here. You will need an overnight wilderness permit. I will leave a link on the bottom for that. Trail is going to be right here. So we are right here. We're going to head up through this pass. They're gonna head to Long Lake, Spearhead Lake, passing Ruwal Lake, and then Saddle Rock Lake, and then Bishop Lake. So you, we get all these amazing fall colors, the use of these mountains up here. Here's where the uphill begins. You can see sound. So you can see down there, somebody has a boat. I'm not even a mile in, and this hike is kicking my butt right now. And you can see furthermore down there on the other side of the lake. We gotta go up this. Entering the John Muir Wilderness. So the trail is flattened out at this point. Temporarily. But I'm pretty sure I'll be getting some more elevation pretty soon. So this is like a little breather for me. A key junction right here. We're going to head left. To Bishop Pass. We got this nice meadow right here on the way up. Really cool. And that mountain up there is actually called Herd Mountain. And just below it is Herd Lake. I think that would be a good camp spot. But let's see what it looks like down there. And we got another one of these little bridges. But we're about to come up on another junction in just a bit. One will take you to... Bishop Pass, the other through Chocolate Lakes. Got more of these stair carvings into the trail. That down there is Herd Lake. Here's the junction. Straight ahead is Bishop Pass. Left side, Chocolate Lakes. That's Chocolate Peak up there. So I'm almost to Long Lake. It should be up there in just a bit. But for now we get more views. Then you can see Chocolate Peak. Which is 11,500 peak. To think it's one of the smaller peaks out here. Just let that sink in for a bit. So while you're on this hike you're going to come across this small unnamed lake just before you get to Long Lake. So I've arrived to Long Lake. Got some creek crossing here. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you a better view of this lake down here. Now back on the trail, looking for a campsite, but it has to be a hundred feet away from the lake or a hundred feet away from the trail. So after that, I'm gonna set up my tent and then do some more exploring. 
So I think I know why they call this Long Lake now. I think this lake is like a mile long or something. So this junction could take you up to, or does take you up to Ruau Lake. Don't know if I pronounced that correctly. I think I may have found a spot. All right, so I found this spot right here, which is about 100 feet from the lake and the trail. So I'm gonna use this bag right here, and set it up. So now I just got done setting up my tent. I'm gonna go ahead and throw up that tarp on there. So there is a creek right next to my campsite. The views of the lake. All right, so now I'm putting my stuff in this bear canister. I picked it up in Lone Pine for about $75, so you could rent it for $25. I only bought it for future references. I'm pretty sure you could get better deals in other spots. So I would recommend getting one on Amazon, eBay, or a website that will sell it for a cheaper price. But I'm gonna try to head up to uh, the pass and Bishop Lakes and then turn back around and call it a day afterwards. So I've filled up with water on this filter. This is $40. This is one of the cheaper ones, but you can get one much bigger than this one if you want. And I drink this as a last resort. I always bring my own water. So I am back on the trail. I just needed to set up my camp because all that gear was tiring me out quickly. So that down there is Spearhead Lake. So we just came through a bunch of switchbacks down there. From here, you get another view of Long Lake. Coming up on another lake. So we have reached Spearhead Lake. There's a waterfall coming down into the lake. I think that right there is Mount Good. Now the perspective of the lake. We have arrived to Saddle Rock Lake. And I believe that is Mount Good up there. I should be coming up on Bishop Lakes up ahead. So at this point we're in a spot where we're above the tree line basically. So there's a lot of clearing right here. Nice little pond right there on the way up.
So I'm gonna make a right turn off to where the lakes are at as a viewing point or you can continue on to the pass. But for now I'm just gonna go ahead and just check out the lakes. This is Bishop Lake. Head down to the beach for a bit and head back. 